If I may, I gotta talk about old Ricky Starks. Hey, listen, I thought Dynamite was great. And I don't want people to take this as a criticism. Because sometimes we see things in AW. Like old uh, Swerve agreeing a team. Or uh, uh, Keith Lee agreeing a Swerve with the team. Or with, you know what I'm trying to say. And it's like, what? But sometimes things happen. And you don't know they're going to happen. And they happen and it's too late. Okay. So, uh... Last night, they did the Dynamite Diamond Battle Royal, okay? And the, the, uh, the gimmick was whoever wins can choose the time and place to face MJF for the Dynamite, Dynamite Diamond Ring. It's a tongue twister. And everyone's talking about, you know, I want to do this or that. So going into the Battle Royal, Ricky Starks had already won a match against MJF, which is going to take place at Winter is Coming. So he wanted to go in, win the right to, uh, to fight for the ring, and take everything away from MJF. And that was his goal, okay? So, you know, it was only a couple of days ago on this chat... That somebody said, what am, I, what am I missing in Ricky Starks? What am I not seeing? And do you remember what we said? We said, you ain't seeing enough of him. That's the issue, okay? Yeah. Dude, this guy, and granted, they were in Austin, Texas. This guy came out, and dude, he was so over. And he was so over in that battle royal. And then... He won the Battle Royal, and man, they went nuts when he won that Battle Royal. And then before they can even hit his music, they hit MJF's music. And this bastard comes down to the ring. And man, he starts just eviscerating Ricky Starks. And he makes fun of him. He's a rock ripoff. He's going to call him the pebble. He's going to take that pebble. He's going to skip it across the ocean. He's going to beat him, and he's going to—he's just hes just burying this guy. He's just eviscerating him. And then Ricky Starks walks by this dude, and he shoulder checks him, and he picks up the mic. And you know, we all knew that Ricky could talk, okay? But my God, the promo that this guy cut on MJF. He sliced this guy— he sliced this guy like supermarket ham. You ever seen that machine they have in the supermarket? You put that big old thing of ham, and it slices and dices that thing up? He just, holy smokes. And then this crowd is like, they're, they're volcanic at this point. And man, he does the whole thing. And then this bastard kicks him in the balls. And he kicks him in the balls. And he goes for something or other. And Ricky Starks responds... And he spears MJF out of his shoes. And the building is shaking. And MJF bails out of the ring. And away he goes. I watch this. I thought, my God. First off, like, you don't want to talk about star-making performances. You want to talk about, I'm not even joking. This was the promo of a lifetime for Ricky Starks. It was the right promo in front of the right crowd at the right time. It was un. Believable. So, man, I'm on a high. I'm watching this show, and, you know, I'm enjoying the show. They had a great main event. And anyway, shortly before the show ends, there's a graphic up on the screen, and it says, next week at Winter is Coming, it's Ricky Starks versus MJF, and it is winner take all. It is one match. For the belt and the ring. Now listen, it ain't the end of the world. It's not that big a deal, okay? I'm not sitting here going like, you know, this place is so nothing like that, okay? But, and the other thing is, you know, they, they had this plan that that was going to be the match next week. And, you know, when they had the graphic up and everything like that, I don't think anybody had any idea how big this promo segment was going to be for Ricky Starks. But man, when this was over, I thought, dude, listen, listen. You know what they should have done? 
They should have done exactly what they did. And hindsight's 2020. And MJF punts this dude in the balls. He goes for whatever he's going to do. Ricky Stark spears him out of his shoes. MJF bails to the outside. And then Ricky grabs the mic and he goes, get me a referee down here right now. I want my match for the ring. And MJF gets in the ring. And you do a quick whatever. And the referee poked in the eye or whatever. He's not looking for a second. And MJF reaches into his trunks and he pulls out that ring. And he puts. he's going to go to put the ring on the finger. And Ricky, kabam, boots him. The ring goes flying like the Lord of the Rings. Ricky Starks grabs the ring, puts it on his finger. Boom! Punches MJF, knocks him out, covers him. One, two, three. The whole building collapses like that Arena Mexico show. Ricky Starks wins the ring. The place goes nuts. And now he's pinned MJF. You know he can do it. MJF got foiled in his own game. Ricky has gotten the ring. Next week, you do the championship match, and who cares? Ricky does a great... You know what they do next week is Ricky, you know, whatever, something happens. Ricky does whatever. I actually had an idea, but forget. It doesn't matter. MJF beats him. Who gives a... Who, who, I almost said a bad word. <laughs> Ricky's got a win over MJF. He's won the ring. It solves a problem we've had a thousand times where the fans really want to get behind a guy. Rug gets yanked out from under him in one way or the other. Whatever, dude. Yeah, next week. Next week, MJF doesn't have the ring anymore. But you know what? He's got Regal's knucks. He pulls out them knucks. Boom! Now he hits Ricky to get his revenge. Ricky kicks out! Place goes crazy! Then you do whatever you're going to do and MJF gets him in the end or whatever. But man, you had the opportunity here. You told us there would be two matches. You told us that Ricky was going to get his match. And you told us that whoever won the Battle Royal was going to get a shot of the ring in d different matches. Ricky could have got his win leading into next week. Next week you beat him. Who cares? He has a great match. He already beat him, Jeff. He got something out of it. Ah, whatever. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. But man, I saw that reaction for, for Ricky Starks and it was like, dude... They want him. They want him. And the only thing I heard from people was, you can't beat MJF right now. Why? You guys have so little faith in MJF that he can't put over Ricky for the ring, getting knocked out with his own ring, and then going on to beat Ricky next week in a championship match. Bro, if this guy's any good, which he is, he'll be fine putting a guy over for the ring and then winning the world title. Whatever. But I think they should have done that. And AEW fans are used to short title reigns. So you do have the excuse there because that's really the only excuse you have going against. It's not even is... a short title reign. He'll win. He'll retain the title. No, but I'm saying if people that want to belt up Ricky Starks and have him do the winner take all and he walks away with it. And it's just to me, that's too early. But this is a feud that I've wanted. I hope it's a feud that's going to continue to go, and I would have booked it in the exact same way that you did so you could continue to get mileage out of it and continue to build and build. I don't know what their grand plan is. Tony Khan always talks about booking so much in advance and you know, then having plans screwed up and this and that. But you know what? Maybe it, that's why pencils come with erasers. And if you didn't have more of a plan for Ricky Starks, you better come up with one. Because even if he loses here and you take him out of the mix with MJF, one thing that AEW has done a horrible job with, with many people, is following up. Ricky Starks can continue to be a star, can continue to be a threat, but he needs to have somebody to work with. He needs to have something going on that keeps him at the top of the game. The hey. WWE legendary hey. joke, joke book. book. Why do WWE superstars fingers hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Why were Gene Erkerlund's pants always so angry? Erkerlund? <laughs> Where does Beth Phoenix shop online? Amazon? The Glamazon! Oh, yeah. Yep. No. No. I mean, no. <laughs> no, that is the answer. <laughs> Glamazon. That's what I said! <laughs> what? You said Gramazon. No, I said Glamazon. <laughs> oh, there should be a Gramazon. <laughs> yeah, Gramazon, actually. You get, the, the puppy you get it to you real slow. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, 
you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.